and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a classic French-Canadian meat pie known as tourtière, and this recipe is about 100 years old. Now before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone, we have an affiliate with uh, Chef's Temp if you need a kitchen thermometer or meat probe. You can check the link in the description below and get 15% off your order if you use code LOVEYOURFOOD on checkout. We also have a Patreon set up to help us support the channel, and here's our ingredients. So we've got some ground pork, some pie crust, some vinegar, we're using apple cider vinegar, some maple syrup, a little bit of sage, some nutmeg, some potatoes, a shallot, an onion, and some breadcrumbs. Now, as I said earlier, this recipe is about 100 years old. Uh, this is a very old recipe. We're going to start off with our aromatics. So here is our onion uh, and our shallot. We're going to dice this pretty finely. We want them very, very small, and we want them pretty even. We're going to be cooking these for quite some time. Actually, they're going to get cooked twice. So we're going to cook them first uh, outside of the pie, and then we're going to put them in the pie, and they're going to get baked again. So there is our onion and our shallot, and they're diced pretty small. And these are going to go into a uh, pan here. We've got some bacon grease, which is a little more traditional than something like butter. So in goes our onion and shallot into the bacon grease. We're just going to let that uh, sweat for a little while. We're actually going to change this pan out for, uh, in a little while because we realized it wasn't quite big enough to hold everything that's going to be cooked here. So we're going to season that. We're going to add a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of cracked black pepper as well, just for some flavor. And uh, some of the things that we're adding, this shallot is not really part of the original. We're spicing this up a little bit, and neither is the sage, but we thought they would be nice additions, and they were. They ended up being quite nice. So some of the bigger leaves we're going to take off and chop, and this is going to be added to the, uh, to the ingredients. But we're also going to keep some of those smaller leaves on the stem and just use that. We're just going to toss that in and let it flavor and, uh, and, and add its aroma to the, to the mixture as we're cooking it. And that'll come out later. The, the stem will come out. Now for the potatoes, you can either dice them really, really finely, or you can just grate them. We're just going to grate these potatoes. Now, these are starting from raw. These are not par-cooked or anything. They are starting from raw. These are just plain raw potatoes. We're using these lovely little fingerlings. So there's our potatoes, and the, um, the sage is actually underneath there. Now into our onions, we're just going to add a little dusting of nutmeg. We also added a little bit of uh, a dried pepper pod in there just to spice things up. That is completely optional. We just wanted to uh, make it a little bit zippy. In goes that sage stem. And then in goes the potato. Now, this is sort of when we realized, hmm, this might not really have enough room for everything that we want to do in this pot. Uh, and we're going to need something a little deeper because we still need to add uh, the pork and a bunch of water because we're going to be boiling this as well as the uh, breadcrumbs. So we stirred this for a little while and let it cook a little bit uh, to get some of the flavor out, get the, uh, the juices running in there. And uh, that's looking really, really nice. You want to make sure everything's well combined. And here we have moved it into a bigger pot, and we're just going to deglaze anything that was stuck to the bottom of the other pot uh, into there with some of the water. Now, all of the amounts are going to be in the description below, but this is, we're going to be boiling all of this in about four cups of water. Uh, so you can use little bits of it here and there just to take care of things like deglazing that pot. So in goes our uh, pork. So we're just going to get a little bit of color on here. So here's our ground pork. We just want to get a little bit of color on the pork. So we're going to do uh, a little bit of salt and pepper on there. And then we're going to flip that over and make sure that we get some color on the other side as well. And you do want to break it up a little bit as, as it's cooking or you don't want it to cook together as a big patty like that but you do want to make sure that it's uh, got some seasoning on it when it hits that heat. You want to make sure that here you've got some, uh, some salt and pepper on there when it gets uh, onto the hot part of the pan, and then just break it up a little bit there as you can see here. And then we're going to season the other side as well to make sure that uh, both sides get uh, an equal amount of salt and pepper. So we just want a barely a little bit of browning in there. The original recipe for this uh, actually has us just tossing it into the boiling water, uh, tossing it into the pot with the boiling water and boiling it uh, with everything else. We just wanted a little bit of color to um, just add that nice little Maillard flavor, a little bit of uh, a deepness of flavor in there. 
And um, again, we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of that water that we've got and add that in as well. Don't worry about adding too much water. There's a lot more water coming. So here is a little bit of the um, maple syrup and the vinegar. Make a little bit of a gastrique in there. And in goes the breadcrumbs and then our a large amount of water. And this is going to boil for a little while. Now it's going to thicken. There's obviously the breadcrumbs in there, the potato, all of that's going to come together and thicken quite a lot. So it's going to end up sort of the texture of a pot pie. And you can see here, it's already starting to thicken up a little bit. The pork is all broken down into little pieces. The, uh, the, the potato is starting to cook. And then when it reaches this kind of uh, consistency, there's, this is when we're going to add that to our pie crust. And this is not a pre-baked pie. There's no, we're not baking that pie crust first. We are just going to put the filling in there. Uh, we added just a little bit of cracked black pepper on top of the filling before we covered it. And then we're going to uh, just very, very gently cover that, uh, cover the uh, meat pie with the rest of the pie crust here. And there you go. And uh, after that, you're going to want to make sure that it's more or less centered and you're going to just crimp all the edges. Uh, you can use a fork for this. You can use your fingers to make that nice uh, sort of scalloped edge, whichever you prefer. And then once it's all crimped all the way around the outside, you can just take the flat edge of a butter knife and cut the uh, excess off the round part of your, uh, your pie plate here. And then you want to cut a couple of vents in there just to make sure that the steam doesn't build up. You want to make sure that it has some way to get out of your pie and uh, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. We're just going to uh, cut a few little vents in the top. And then that's going to go into our preheated oven. Now there is a two temperature sort of bake for this. So uh, that instruction is going to be in the description below. So you're going to cook it for a short time at a higher temperature and then a longer time at a lower temperature. And you're just looking for this kind of golden color on top. And it's already cooked. You've already boiled the filling, so you don't have to worry about that. You just want the uh, pastry to get nice and crispy. And uh, after that, it's ready to serve. So you do want to let it cool down a little bit because when it comes out of the oven, it is molten hot. And uh, you do want to make sure you let that just cool down a little before you serve it. Uh, now, the filling might be a little bit loose. Um, it's not necessarily going to always stay exactly where you put it. Uh, it will run a little bit, but uh, but that's it. It's really, really simple. It's honestly very delicious, very simple, hearty food. Uh, traditionally, this was served with ketchup in my house when I was growing up, but uh, you know, you can serve it with whatever you like. A little bit of hot sauce actually goes really nicely with this. Obviously, you probably want to put a salad with this, but, uh, but yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. So uh, if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. We have a Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. Thank you very much to all of our patrons. And remember to love your food.